We are on the edge of one of the groundwater recharge facilities. It's part of the Upper Kings Basin Integrated Planning Group. This is called the Waldron Pond. It is about a 250-acre groundwater recharge facility owned and operated by the Fresno Irrigation District. The uh, water districts within the uh, Kings Groundwater Basin, which is about a 976,000 acre basin here in the central San Joaquin Valley, have formed together to create an integrated regional plan or an IRWMP to look at groundwater resources, surface water supply resources, and try to manage them in a collaborative way to create long-term sustainability of all those resources. Historically, California water supply has been managed at a very localized level. Each individual water district has managed its contractual entitlement or its water right and managed it really within the boundaries of that district. So we've seen uh, a patchwork of, of water supply management that really didn't benefit the region. People weren't making decisions holistically, they were making decisions only to benefit the small constituency that they were formed to represent. Um, this is different in the sense that we've brought together over 50 participants representing local water agencies, the local communities, the counties, other state and federal resource management agencies, and combined them with the, the local non-governmental interests, the environmental justice community, the environmental community, to develop a vision for the region that wraps itself around the available water supplies, our environmental objectives, our water supply objectives, and develop the master plan that uh, hopefully creates a sum that is greater than the individual parts that are managed by the, each of those small districts. The Kings Basin is one of the groundwater basins designated, designated by the California Department of Water Resources as critically overdrafted. So over time, we've accumulated about a six and a half million acre foot reduction in cumulative storage. We've overdrafted our basin by about 160,000 acre feet annual per year. The integrated planning process that we're involved in, our program, has identified a number of groundwater recharge projects, such as the one behind us, where we capture the surplus flood flows and, and unusable surface supplies when they're available and divert them into facilities such as this to recharge the groundwater basin and hopefully over the long haul address that critical overdraft condition. Measurement of groundwater elevations has been something that the Kings River Conservation District has done for several decades. We actually uh, have a network of uh, over a thousand groundwater wells within the Kings Basin that we monitor and utilize uh, monitoring data from the California Department of Water Resources to create a groundwater contour map and report that's made available to the local water agencies and interested landowners. Um, frankly, we can't manage the groundwater basin without having that type of data. The passage of the comprehensive water package in uh, the fall of 2009 included a requirement that every groundwater basin in the state of California be monitored with respect to its elevation and that data be provided to the California Department of Water Resources and made available to the general public. Kings River Conservation District has assumed the role uh, of uh, serving as the lead groundwater elevation monitoring entity for the Kings Basin so that we can fulfill that requirement and it's a very important part of what we do. Challenges to this type of a program start with uh, creating trust, that the individual uh, participants in our integrated planning process have literally been at the table for over 10 years. And over that 10 year period, started to understand that we, we all have a common objective here uh, and that we can work together. But th it starts with a tremendous amount of distrust that has to be overcome. Once you get past the trust issues and you've established some camaraderie, um, uh, the proper form of governance seems to present a challenge as you bring this diversity of interests around the table. Um, how best to govern the administration of the plan and the expansion of the integrated plan have proven to be challenges. In our region, we've um, come upon the California Joint Powers Act as the governance structure but that in and of itself presents challenges because the non-governmental entities cannot be members of the California JPA. So we've created a structure where um, those interested parties can have a voice into the governance body and, and again 
um, over time that's proven to be fairly effective. So I would encourage entities that, that have not yet seen the full possibility of integrated planning to view it as a very effective tool that, that has top-down support from Sacramento uh, that can be used to create visions, create funding sources, uh, create opportunities to put projects in the ground that meet the local objectives. I think the days of local districts managing resources without thinking about the bigger picture and the broader spectrum of uses within their region is far behind us.